In the last period, as you may have noticed, I've started making 3D games. But recently, I ran into a little problem that I suck at 3D model. And you may probably think the same, right? Like, what the fuck are these pieces of shit? So I decided to work hard. In fact, for one week, I will have to learn as much as I can about 3D modeling. And then, see how much I've improved from the first day to the last. The main goal of this challenge is to make at least 6 models in 7 days. And the plan is this. The first 2 days, I will focus on watching a tutorial series on how to learn Blender, the software that I use to make models. Then, on Wednesday, Tuesday and Friday, I will create 3 models following some videos. And finally, in the last 2 days, I will create 2 models starting from zero, just using my gainer skills and my creativity. So yeah. It's going to be a really fun week. Good luck to you. Today it's the first day of the week and it's time to start this challenge. So after waking up, go to school, do a lot of homework and go to the gym. Um, it's already evening. Bruh. But don't worry, we can still use the remaining time to start searching up some tutorials on YouTube. And that looks perfectly what I was searching for. A complete tutorial series on how to make a big fat donut. Great. So I started watching it. Keep watching it and watching it. And after finishing all the first episodes, I was finally ready to start creating my Blender project. Basically, a complete donut is built up by a base of soft fried dough, the creamy part and the sparkles. So the first step to follow is create the base using a mesh called a torus. Then you have to make it look... <laughs> Sorry guys, I can't handle the Danish jokes. They are too powerful. The second step is to smooth the polygons and make some irregularities to make it look more realistic. So grab some points and put them randomly around. The third step is to add the creamy part and make it go looks from that to that. And finally, give a color to the donut base and for today, I think that's all. This is what we got with an hour and a half of work. And I'm not gonna lie, but it looks very tasty. Like, I wanna eat it right now. But I can't because I have to go to sleep because I, I have school tomorrow, so fuck. <laughs> this is the second day of the week. And today we're gonna learn some really interesting stuff. Like shaders, textures, lighting probes, geometry nodes, and also we are already going to export the complete donut. So first, I started this working day texture knit. And for the bros that they don't know what a texture is, um... Shortly, a texture refers to the physical or visual surface quality of an object, substance or material. It is the characteristic that makes an object or surface feel rough, smooth, bumpy, or soft, any hard or, or any other tactile sensation. In art and design, texture refers to the surface materials quality of a work of art, created by, by the way in which materials, materials are used or applied. And then blah blah blah. So it's basically a visual surface that makes our donut even more realistic. So yeah, cool. Then I watch also the episode on how to use the geometry nodes to make the colored sparkles. And honestly, I thought it would be more difficult, but actually, it's not. The geometry nodes are generally used to modify a geometry in any way that you want to modify it. Replace it multiple times in different positions, rotations and scales. And there is only the 1% of what you can do with these nodes. You can even hack NASA or spawning a really big rock on in front of your teacher's house. I'm just saying. However, at 4 o'clock, after reading some comments under my videos, I finally finished to make the complete donut. And after I made the last adjustments and added a chocolate version of this, I decided to take it in the render face. The face that makes my PC go out and never back again. So please, please subscribe to the channel so I can buy a new one and make better videos and better games. So yeah, if you do it, Thanks. So after an infinity, I finally got my render. And yeah, has my first polished model, I like it. It looks tasty and American. Glad 
Good morning gamers! Have you passed the night? You slept good? Fine, because today start the second phase of the challenge, which is to watch a single video tutorial and with that make a finished polished model. So as always, after getting home, I started searching around on YouTube a tutorial for today. And at some point, I saw this. And immediately, my mind says, damn bro, this is absolutely sick. So yeah, I did it. The subject in this case was a glass bottle within two red mushrooms on a chop of dirt. So the first step was to create the mushroom with its stem and its head. After that, using the wrap modifier, I positioned the bubbles of the mushroom according to the curves of the head. Then I duplicated to make a little mushy, make the chop of dirt starting from a simple cube, adding some details like grass using the cube tool, and finally made the bottle of glass with its chunky cork. At the end, I placed the bottle in the middle of a big plane, baking some lights, adjust the camera view, and passed like one hour to create all the cool materials that I needed. With the help of my new friend, Clip which is a plant and also fake. But it has a face though, so yeah, don't judge me. However, I finally got my render. And I have to say that for now, this is my favorite at all. Also because I've done just two models. So yeah. It feels so calm and relaxing and the bottle looks so... thick. Sup gamers, this is the fourth day of the week and today we continue the second phase of the challenge. So let's go on YouTube and search for some new Blender tutorials. And look at this, a fresh drink for us? Mmm, I take it. <sighs> fresh. Let's go into Blender and make this real. So as always, let's delete the default cube and start modeling the glass with this strange technique that you create these segments and then with a modifier called a screw, you multiply them according to a sickle path. If I needed to make a glass, this wasn't the way that I probably used to make it. But yeah, I think this is a sort of tip to make models with less polygons so you can save performance. So yeah, I think that's the reason. However, then I made some water with clouds texturing, make some ice cube with some irregularities using the same way that I used to make the water, then make the plastic straw, and finally the bubbles in the water. So this is the complete model of a drink, but it's missing something. All right, now let's render it and see how it looks. Okay, that's good, but not perfect. The bubbles are not showing and the two cherries look like balls. This was a little bit difficult, but at least I discovered a lot of new things and I think that's important. Welcome to the fifth day of the week and the last for the second phase of the challenge. Yesterday when I was watching YouTube before going to sleep, I saw a pretty cool animation render of a boat surfing the water. So I saved that video for today and now we're going to do it. Let's go. First of all, as shows the tutorial, we need to make the boat, starting from the base up to the sail. And just after that, we can proceed to make the water always using clouds texturing. Now things are starting to get a little more complicated because we're going to start working with animations, cubes and variables. First of all, to make the water able to move, I created this empty element as a pivot. So to animate the water, we can just simply move it forward or backward. And using these little squares called keyframes to change the position of the element during the time. But there is a little problem and that is the boat doesn't really respond to the waves. So I'm glad to introduce you Curves, that at first sound like a sponsor, but it, it's not, unfortunately. Curves are basically just uh, lines used to smooth things. With this, we can create the rotation of the boat according to the waves of the water. And ta-da, here is how it looks. Re good morning gamers! It's finally the first day of the last phase. That means that we have to make two models without following any tutorial, just using my gainer skills. That is going to be the funnier phase, because I can basically model whatever I want. 
but we need an idea of what we can model. Hmm. Let me think. Hmm. I think Clip could be a really good model to make. Also because it's very simple and it has... It's probably... It's... Cute. So after analyze him, let's dive into Blender and start modeling the pot. Adding first a solidify and then a bevel to make it look soft curved on the edges. After that, I made the block of dirt and his long leaves. Just using a plane, modify its shape and add to it the solidify modifier to make it thicker. Finally, let's curve and replace them in circle multiple times and randomize their direction and scales. Easy. But it's missing something really important. His face. Cause if he doesn't have a face, it's not clip. So let's make his cutie eyes and his cute smiley mouth. Alright, now it's actually clip. After applying some materials and illuminating him with the diving light, it's time for the render. And whoa, that's so cute, bros. You see this clip? That's you. Boys, we almost did it. It. We are so close. We reached the last day of the challenge. I, I'm dead. It's a joke, YouTube. Today, we're gonna make the last model starting from zero. Wow. And with that model, we're going to end this challenge. You know, yesterday I made Plip, right? But on my desk, there is also a mini figure of a Pokemon. And its name is. Psyduck. So to end this huge challenge, I'm going to model this. Before start modeling, let's analyze it and try to make good mesh proportion. Starting from his body and then his head. Behind it has a tiny cube and in the front it has a big flat beak. Then under the body it has a pair of chunky feet and on the face a pair of psychopathic eyes. I think it's the reason why it's called Psyduck. Because it, it's psychopathic. However, after adding the little tuft on his head and after making the desperate arms, I colored it. And oh my god, that looks so similar. I think for this model, I used the perfect proportion that I could use. That is the best model so far. But I wanted to make more. So I created this little island with some grass and after adding some lights, I finally render it. So with that model, we have actually finished the Blender Learning Week challenge crazy i really hope you enjoyed that video if it is smash that like button and please consider to subscribe to the channel if you want to see more game development content like that and let me know in the comments what is your favorite model between this that i made thank you for watching this part of the video and we will see you in the next one bye